What's up, YouTube? Um, today I'm going to talk about a few little tricks and tips I, I learned on this Canon EOS Rebel T7. I didn't spend big money on it. You can usually get these in a kit for around 500 bucks. It's a great budget camera. Big bang for your buck. Canon EOS Rebel T7. Um, it has a few different names in different countries, like the 1500D. Um, anyways, I got this on a kit off Amazon. Uh, it comes with this lens, an 18 to 55 millimeter. I think it goes down to about a four um, aperture. Anyways, I've been having lots of good results with it. All right, let's start off by flipping this camera on. Make sure for these tips and tricks you're uh, in manual mode. Anyways, all right, first one up. This black main dial right here is how you adjust your sh exposure setting or your shutter speed. Um, anyways, you can see how easy it is to uh, quickly adjust up and down. So here's the trick. It took me forever. It's super simple. Um, I feel felt stupid once I figured it out because every time I'd want to change my um, aperture, I'd have to go into quick settings, scroll up over to this to the aperture setting click on it and change it like this well that's that's the long way and that pisses me off every time up and down up and down anyways here's the trick you hold this the trash can this like a multi button right here with the trash can and it has the plus or minus with the AV anyways hold it down it automatically switches over to your aperture how cool is that now your main dial controls your aperture super simple but it's a huge deal. Now I can change both on the fly. All right, here's the next one. Um, being a, how do I get back? Being a amateur photographer, I uh, I figured when, when I bought this camera that it just shot in its highest image quality. Well, I was wrong. So here's the next tip. Um, go into your menu, go in menu, you come down to image quality, use the first setting. I'm gonna click on it and just make sure you're, you're shooting raw. It's this is so simple, but I ended up getting so much more out of my images and my photos. Um, I, I was able to edit them to the max and just really get way more out of my each shot that I took. All right. Here's another awesome setting you're gonna wanna try. Next time you get on your next shoot, try it. Um, instead of going into Lightroom after you've taken all your photos or after you complete your gallery and then going through Lightroom and setting your white balance. Um, it's not something a lot of beginners or noobs know, but white balance is a huge, has, makes a huge difference on the way your image looks. Anyways, you're gonna wanna go into settings, scroll over, come down, custom white balance. And you're going to want to do this once you're on set and you're going to want something white or gray in the photo. Um, a lot of photographers carry a uh, white balance card set with them and it has either a little bullseye on it or it comes with uh, three cards of white, gray, and black. Anyways, push custom white balance. You want to push OK. It's going to use the last image that you took. So then you're gonna wanna set custom white balance and now your white balance will be set for where you're shooting. So um, it's an awesome little trick uh, to just get that set right before you take all your photos. I've noticed huge difference using it, doing it this way instead of going at the end in Lightroom or Photoshop while you're editing and setting your white balance. A lot of people, when they get a camera, they always see those cool shots of the uh, long exposures and everything. Um, I love them. I've done a couple cool long exposure shots where you get really good lighting effects or uh, st stop motion. Or not stop motion, but you get a motion effect in your photo, like a car flying by or a train going by. Anyways, um, a lot of people don't know this. Just because you go into um, your setting and you slow your shutter speed way down and you have a tripod and your app and your everything's set well the bet to get the best results out of a long exposure shot you're gonna want to come to your lens if it has a stabilizer stabilizer on it and you're gonna want to shut it off and and turning this off is going to give you way better um, effects when you're doing a long exposure shot 
that's all I got for now. I plan on doing a couple uh, a review video on the Canon EOS Rebel T7. Um, I, I don't have anything to compare it to, so that's pretty much why I haven't. It's my first camera, um, and I can't stress enough like how important it is to not totally focus on your gear. And being new and a beginner and photographer, um, I'm really happy with this purchase. It, it exceeds my capabilities, and it'll make getting a more expensive camera more fun down the road because I already know what I'm doing instead of just having a camera packed full setting. This is a great beginner camera. You really need to teach yourself about composition and all the different settings. This is the perfect camera to get started on. You don't have to Hey guys, if you're still here, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and hit subscribe. Thanks.